All right, welcome to another episode from The Chart Readers. We are continuing our crypto sector review, looking at Riot and Hive. Look, I love when I keep going through the sector and still seeing double digits, right? I know it's not, it's closer to 10% than 20%, but anything over 10 is obviously a beautiful day, okay? So before we get into the specifics, what are we gonna do today? Same thing we always do, right? We'll take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how things are setting up. We have our five moving averages. There are none, so I will be drawing some horizontal support and resistance lines on this video. And then when we're done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. Hey, really quickly, if you can please like and subscribe, it does really well with the YouTube algorithms. Nonetheless, I actually very much appreciate your time and I'm very glad that you're here, okay? And then, hey, if you disagree with anything I've got to say, please let me know in the comments, okay? I'd rather you let me know than my money let me know as a go goes down the toilet, right? So it's a two-way street here, okay? Um, look, Riot, one more time. Again, I just did a coin and marathon, um, Coinbase and marathon video, both looked great. Again, I'm liking what I'm seeing here, right? Massive, massive run, right? This thing goes from roughly speaking $3 and something cents to a little bit more than $6 and something cents, right? A 50% gain in, in a matter of a month, right? Obviously, you're gonna need some cool down and look, I, I would have loved to bounce right here. I would have loved to never get over the eight. Nonetheless, we're at least able to use the hundred, right? And just very textbook makes that. And I believe that's actually the exact same place um, Marathon, oh, it didn't. Marathon was this one. Was it Coinbase? If not, I just backed up for it. Yeah, Coinbase made the exact same uh, hundred um, bounce, which again, I like seeing the same sector stocks doing the same thing. It, always, it just, it feels good, you know? Um, look, again, mo a, a lot like Coinbase actually, monster break, one candle takes out three lines, that's huge, right? If you can give me good confirmation, I'll know that's not a fluke, right? And really, there's, there's a lot of reason to believe we're gonna basically come up here, right? I would have loved to overtake this 2-1 candle, but hey, closing here, I'll be honest, even opening here and then kind of going from there would be great, but let's at least overtake the 2-1 candle and I'll call that decent confirmation. Let's let's kind of come a little closer to 50%, a little closer to 733. That's beautiful confirmation. Because again, breaking one line is is good, right? Breaking several, I, I, I need that much more, right? So, um, but yeah, again, a lot of reasons reason to still be bullish. Let me just zoom out real quick. Look at this, okay? The 200 moving average, this is literally the first time we've been around here since a little more than a year. Uh, between November and December of, of 2001, all right? We're, we're sitting in February 23 right now, right? So this break of the 200 is, is it's very, very important to say the least, all right? So let me make a couple lines. Obviously I talked about that, that's, uh, what was it? I think 740, give or take that 50% line, but the one that I care about more is, is the one up here, right? But yeah, again, the 733 is, is still a good line. Um, Am I gonna draw this one? I'm, I'm really not gonna draw this one, no. But again, we talked about it. Um, I'll draw this guy down here. I think that'll be a good one to draw, basically the top of that. Not quite perfect, but again, we're not here for, for perfection. Good enough will make or save you a lot of money, I promise you that. Um, cool, I think those are a couple good lines down. Let's see what the weekly shows up. Yeah, no, honestly, I kinda like, cause, this, this is a good string of red right here, right? And I mean, if we can get over this especially, that, that'll be some juicy trading. But look, this red, red, red was green, green, green. Definitely a lot of red, red, red right here. But um, yeah, I'd love to get over this line. Still a lot of ways to go there. But yeah, getting over 10.06, would be real nice. That's that's just a good trail of red right there. But yeah, I don't actually see myself making any more lines. Um, where did this 802 number come from? I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that guy. Yeah, let's go ahead and get, delete that guy. Okay, cool, I like this. Obviously there's no lines right here because these five lines are gonna matter a lot, right? Let's break all of these and do well, otherwise we're probably gonna come back to this one or this one, right? That's just, that's how technical analysis moves. But one more time, loving this daily. Let me talk about the weekly a little bit. All we really did was use it for the for the lines, right? So, um, hey, I'm, we've been well below the eight and the 20 for a while it's kind of starting to look like we might be going above them. And, and again, on the weekly, that's great, because if you can do that on the weekly, look, 
all this time under the eight and the 20 is just horrible, horrible on the daily, right? So if this actually flips up, that's gonna be huge, but um, still a little ways to go. And obviously breaking the 50 is gonna be like the important thing here, right? So there's a lot of pressure really on this 748 line, because once you hit that, you're, you're give or take on. By the time we get close to the 50, it's probably gonna be under that line too anyways, right? So. Um, hey, I mean, unless something happens this week, right? There's still plenty of room. But yeah, Riot, I'm loving it. I don't think that that 12% um, was a fluke by any means. Um, okay, again, coming to Hive. Again, obviously, it'd be great if this one was double digits too, but 7% on a single day by no means is anything to get disappointed about. Um, I'm going to delete these lines. I haven't made these uh, these videos in a while. Obviously, I mean, I, I, I look at Hive. That's why I do have the lines. But look, a, a lot of what we said was just the same things on Riot, and obviously, it's the same thing on Coin because that's what we said during Riot, right? But we make a over 50% this thing actually almost 100%ed, right? This thing basically goes from a buck 50 to a little bit more than three. Damn, Hive was the money maker. I wish I saw that one. I'll be real honest with you on the personal side. Um, okay, good to know. Um, from there, look, you break the the 200, the very last one once, and I often say it, right? Wait for confirmation. It's, it's critical, you know? Anything can happen once. What we're here for is that sustained continuation, right? So doesn't quite do it obviously you know rsi wasn't too too high by the time i got there it looks like it was in the yeah it's 70s that's low i mean high 60s that's nothing right but nonetheless wasn't enough makes its way down and does that same 100 moving average bounce i do see we took two lines today so look really if we can get over the um the 200 that'll be more than enough and really this would be a beautiful place right if we can get over that 2-1 candle that um 372 i'll be honest i'm going to go ahead and set an alert for 373 i'd love to know if we break it again an alert is by no means a um a buy notification just to check it out and then on riot let me actually go ahead and make an alert for right there i would love to know if we break that candle i forgot to do that on the video um cool let's go back to hive real quick so again, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna repeat too much because obviously it's the same. But look, I do like the RSI. This thing's been going relatively downhill for a good minute now, right? This thing was literally almost at that hundred line, makes its way to the fifty line, right? So hopefully this will kind of start taking it back up. Good little healthy volume, but definitely not monster volume, right? So if you can get a good almost eight percent on baby volume, yeah, imagine what that would do if we actually get it tomorrow and we get a break of the two hundred, right? So that's why I I am also. A, I'm, again, still very bullish here. Just give me that good confirmation tomorrow. Um, we're going to go ahead and make that line right there. I think that's going to be a good line. We'll see what that looks like on the daily real quick. I'll go ahead and just make that just to have it. But hopefully we don't go anywhere near that. And then what I am going to do is a ballpark 50% candle. Um, yeah, I think that's good. Again, we're not here for perfect, I think, give or take right there. Um, cool, let me go to the daily real quick, but real quick, as I talk about this weekly, look, again, we're gonna talk about it, right? We've been well under the eight and 20 for a while. It is also kind of looking like this is at least going up. I wish the 20 was just a little more up curvy, but look, I'll take horizontal versus under for sure, because we've seen how devastating these two lines can be when a stock is under it. But yeah, look at that. It's a real good RSI. It's definitely got an uptrend. I see the the green is trying to go away. I like that the green is still on top. And yeah, we had good volume, but hopefully can, uh, can pick up, right? So still a lot to be bullish on. We've now made two videos, four stocks. All of them look good. I love it when the whole sector does good, right? So um, yeah, one more video coming on this sector. And hey, if there's an, any other ones that you want me to add, obviously, please let me know. But have a great one.